This is designed to be a conversation and a dialogue. We also want to respect your time. Uh, we hope that there are at least one or two questions or comments regarding the information that we have shared. So does anyone have a question or a comment? to work with other organizations and collaborate on uh, tackling the issue. What are the toughest challenges you're facing? Now, I think one of the toughest challenges is really finding that sweet spot in terms of the common agenda. Um, the only way we're going to be able to collaborate effectively is if we all agree on the North Star that we're working for. Even if that means, as a food bank, we work on it by providing food and someone else works on it by tried to do the same thing in Charlottesville with their many non for profits He thought that they should all group together and put like minds together. And what he found was that many non for profits set up fiefdoms and they don't want to fall apart. There's a reason they're together, they said. So he basically gave up and what he said in his dissertation was, basically, you have to put the client in front of them for them all to see what their target is. If you just try to talk to them about their missions, they'll all say, oh, but we do something different. But anyway, that wasn't my question. I was just wanted to comment that I applaud your mission to do so, 
I also realize it's going to be an extremely uphill battle fighting fiefdoms uh, with executive directors of non-for-profits, no matter how small or large they are. My question was, do we have a system to help these people get through the fragmented social welfare, for example, navigators, mentors that have everything in front of them and can say, let me help you navigate through your needs. So may I address the first part of what you said and then pass it on to, uh, to address the second one? So, uh, I'm sure, I, I'm not at all surprised by what he found or she found, um, but um, I'm, I'm not going to be daunted because those who feel that way, they're wrong. And what I have found to be really powerful is what you got to in the end, which is, and, and Ruth, you've heard me do it many times, in the middle of an argument, and sometimes, believe it or not, we even argue with that argument. Um, I say I argue with myself by changing my mind, right? So, um, in the middle of an argument, the thing that I want to always make sure that I do is to come back with the right test for who wins. And who should always win are the people that we serve. So, I try my best to remember that every time and to reinforce it. And I like to start meetings, and I've had lots of meetings with potential partners who have never met with us before, by the way. So I have reason to feel some confidence that maybe we can work through. And in those meetings, I start with, so who is it that you wish to serve? Well, oh, that's who I wish to serve as well. Let's remember that when we start disagreeing on how. And I have found it to be, so far, to be a productive path. But the other piece that I would suggest is, I love the quote, um, and I believe it's, it's, um, it's, it's attributed to Gandhi, we must see the change we wish to see. I mentioned before, my intent is to model, we're the second largest nonprofit organization in the United States. Um, we have some heft. We tend to get a remarkable array of donors. Um, we can provide grants to other nonprofit organizations. There's a lack of trust that's based in part upon history. We can make the future different than the past. But then the other element that I would suggest is those who are in this room, you have a lot of power in this as well. If donors insist upon collaboration, if they measure collaboration, um, I think people will start to collaborate more. And certainly within the Federation of Virginia Food Banks Network, we have really great examples of individual nonprofit organizations coming together uh, to do what we cannot do alone. The executive director of the Federation is here at the Oliver, and just to give one example, uh, he brought the seven food banks together, serving the Commonwealth of Virginia to. Tremendous amount of flexibility 
to do the other kinds of things, even though that comes up. And so it really is necessary for all of us to engage in more advocacy efforts that really address the loopholes uh, that are created in our public policy that are supposed to be a safety net for individuals. We'd love to continue the conversation with you and we will have plenty of time to do that after tonight's event. Uh, this is a room full of friends, of stakeholders, of folks that we see throughout the year. So we're looking forward to following up and having breakfast meeting, lunch meeting, dinner meeting. I promise not to ask for any support. Initially, I saw Lou shake his head. <laughs> but what we're asking really is for you to help us give voice to this evolving work of our organization and our movement. We're going to continue to feed individuals to show up in our minds and we recognize again that feeding people alone will not eliminate hunger. So we'd love to hear your thoughts after